Following up on a promise made, Mariola's Cueva leaves clothes as an offering to the Virgin of Charity, Cuba's patron saint. She and her husband flew the length of the island from the capital Havana to pay their respects. We promised if our baby was born healthy that when she turned one, we would bring her here to honor the Virgin of Charity. The birth went fine and she's never been sick. And that's why we're here. Jordan and Mariolas don't consider themselves very religious. For them, the Virgin is a Cuban symbol, not just a Catholic one. More than a million Cubans turned out to see the statue when it toured the island recently. And on Tuesday, another pilgrim is scheduled to make his way to the sanctuary, Pope Benedict XVI. According to legend, the Virgin appeared to two men and a young slave when they asked her to keep them safe in rough seas. They returned from that journey. Since then, people brought gifts for the Virgin, asking for her protection. Alexander Maya is a vendor of Our Lady of Charity souvenirs, but he personally puts more faith in her as a Santeria spirit, a mix of African and Catholic saints. We were slaves of the Spanish and brought our own culture here. People pray to the Virgin of Charity in church, but through our religion, we honor the Virgin in another way, calling her Ochun. This kind of religious fusion is found across the island. Babalaos, or santos as they're sometimes called, lead Santeria ceremonies that mix African and Catholic traditions. Followers pray to an array of gods and goddesses, and they pay tribute through marathon sessions of music often accompanied by sacrifice. Everyone in times of need looks to religion, and everyone puts their faith in it. There's no conflict between different religion, only conflict between human beings. Even Catholic priests here in Cuba acknowledge they must respect traditions that seem foreign to most Christians. We have to uh, learn how to be believers in a plural world. and. Uh, it is easier in some parts of the world and more difficult in others. Despite such a progressive view, Pope Benedict will not meet with any of the Santeros on his visit to Cuba. The church says there's no formal leader he could sit down with, but both he and Santeros like Alexis Massa pay tribute to the Virgin of Charity. Adam Rini, Al Jazeera, Santiago de Cuba.